Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so glad that you made it back today. I thought we'd start today off with a song. Are you ready? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Let's meet someone new. I have someone new for us to meet today. Can you guess who it is? Yes, it's a grasshopper. Her name is Gertrude, and she's so soft. She has a little antenna. Gertrude, how are you doing today? I'm feeling green. Oh, you are, you are so green, and you have nice eyes, too. How are you feeling, Miss Lara? Well, I'm having a great day. I'm back here filming. I also got a special surprise this morning. Let me put you down and I'll show you a picture of it. So this morning, I woke up and I was wiping the sleep out of my eyes, just like you might be doing. And I had a wonderful coffee next to my bed. My husband put it there because he knew that I needed to wake up. Now I want you to think, how do you think that made me feel? Do you think that having that coffee there made me feel happy or mad? Yes, happy. It really brightened my day. So I already know how I'm feeling and you know that we have to check how you're feeling. Let's make a letter and we can use that mirror to check how we're feeling. Are you ready? Let's see if you can guess the letter we're gonna make. Ooh, this is a good letter. We're gonna use a big line and go down from the top like this. And then we're gonna use a little curve and go down like this or up like this. What letter have I made? It's the letter P, that's right, P. Let me grab my letter P mirror and we're gonna look at my emotional check-in. Let's watch a video that's gonna show how you're feeling. Get ready to sing along with me. And Shy Bunny. Shy Bunny doesn't like to sing, but maybe if we sing with him, he'll sing along too. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Whew, that was fast. If you're surprised and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're surprised and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're surprised and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're surprised and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're silly and you know it, jump around. If you're silly and you know it, jump around. If you're silly and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're silly and you know it, jump around. Yay! Our feelings are so important. Thank you, Shy Bunny. It's true, boys and girls. Feelings are so important. Remember, you don't just want to check in on how you're feeling once a day, but throughout the day and check in on those around you. Now, today we have a very special friend named Mason. See? M for Mason. We say hi to Mason. Hi, Mason. Now, let's see. How do you think Mason is feeling? I know that she's in school and making a very special painting. Look, around her, she has her brother. I want you to think, how would you feel if you were making a special painting? If you would feel happy, make a happy face like this. If you would feel sad, make a sad face like this. Let me take a look. 
Ooh, I see a lot of happy faces. Yes, I think Mason is feeling happy too, and she's smiling. Now I'd love to hear from you boys and girls, so if you'd like to send in your picture and story, don't forget to do that using the address below. All right, let's get our bell. And we'll do our visual schedule, so much to do. We did our emotional check-in. We're gonna do our weekly investigation. We're gonna learn about a book. I'll tell you in a minute. And then we'll end by singing our goodbye song. So let's do a quick movement before we go to our intentional message. Here we go. Let's see the letter P. Pound your chest like a gorilla. Okay, ready? Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. All right, let's walk over to my intentional message to see what we have going on today. So, our intentional message says our focus text is the grouchy ladybug. We will study the book's characters and use them to find rhyming words and beginning sounds. We have so much to do with that book. Let me go back to my chair and I'm gonna give you a preview of some of the characters. So let's take a look. Excuse me, Gertrude. So in our story, there's gonna be a grouchy ladybug and I'm gonna tell you very quickly that the ladybug is gonna want some aphids. Those are little insects on leaves. And guess what? It's gonna meet a gorilla and wanna fight it. I won't tell you more. Instead, I'll let you watch a video of the story. Let's watch together. It's story time. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle, retold by Miss Laura. At five o'clock in the morning, a friendly ladybug flew in and decided to eat aphids off of a leaf. A grouchy ladybug also flew by and decided it wanted to eat the aphids for breakfast too. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug, but the grouchy ladybug said, Go away! These are my aphids! Do you want to fight for them? If you insist, said the friendly ladybug, but the grouchy ladybug flew away to look for someone bigger to pick on. At seven o'clock, the grouchy ladybug flew by a stag beetle and said, Hey you! Want to fight? The stag beetle opened its jaws and said, If you insist. The ladybug said, Nah, you're not big enough, and flew off. At 8 o'clock, the ladybug came across a praying mantis and said, Hey you, want to fight? The praying mantis reached out his long front legs and said, If you insist. Huh, said the ladybug, you're not big enough. And with that, the grouchy ladybug flew away. At 9 o'clock, the ladybug flew near a sparrow and said, Hey you, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening his sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the ladybug. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster and said, Hey you, want to fight? The lobster stretched his claws and said, If you insist, Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it saw a skunk and said, Hey, you want to fight? The skunk lifted its tail, and the ladybug quickly said, Nah, you're not big enough, and flew off. At 12 noon, the grouchy ladybug spotted a boa constrictor and said, Hey, you, want to fight? The boa constrictor said, If you insist. Oh, you're not big enough, said the ladybug, and flew off. At one o'clock, the grouchy ladybug hurried towards a hyena and said, You want to fight? The hyena laughed and said, If you insist. The grouchy ladybug said, Nah, you're not big enough, and flew away. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla and said, Hey, you want to fight? The gorilla started beating his chest and the ladybug said, I'll look for someone bigger, and flew off. At three o'clock, the grouchy ladybug ran into a rhinoceros and asked the same question. Want to fight? The rhinoceros lowered its horn and the ladybug said, you're not big enough and flew off. 
At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant and said, Do you want to fight? The elephant raised his trunk and showed his tusks, and the ladybug said, Never mind, I'm going to look for someone bigger. At five o'clock, the grouchy ladybug met a large creature indeed, a whale. The ladybug asked, Do you want to fight? But the whale did not answer. The ladybug flew onto the whale's tail. The whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug returned to where the friendly ladybug was. The friendly ladybug said, there's still a fix left, would you like to share? The grouchy ladybug said, yes, please, and together they ate a delicious dinner. Oh, that grouchy ladybug, it thought it could fight a gorilla, an elephant, a whale. Oh no! Now do you remember what happened at the end? That's right! The ladybug was exhausted and decided to be friends with the friendly ladybug and they ate aphids together, didn't they? All right, so remember, boys and girls, you can check out that book and many more on the Sora app. Don't you just love to read? Okay, let's see. That bell means it's time to check our visual schedule and see what we accomplished today. So we did our emotional check-in, we did our weekly investigation, and we're learning about the book, The Grouchy Ladybug. Now tomorrow we're going to pause that learning because it's a special holiday. It's Groundhog Day. So we're going to learn all about groundhogs. Make sure you come back for that. And now it's time to sing our goodbye song. Won't you sing with me? I love that. Gertrude, you too. All right, let's stand up and sing our goodbye song. Ready? A, B, C, you later. D, E, F, G, I'm going to mess ya. H, I have to go now. J, K, bye-bye now. L, M, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, are you gonna miss me? S, T, you are my best friend. V, W, X, Y, Z, and you are. You're my very best friend. I love it when you come and play with me. So Miss Lara is going to send you a big squeeze. And I saw one of you and you said, Miss Lara, I'm not a lemon. You can't squeeze me. But I like to squeeze anyway. And I'm going to send you a big smooch. Mwah! Like the smooch I wish I would have given the grouchy ladybugs who would be friendly. And I'm going to remind you to read and to play and to come back tomorrow for learning around the Groundhog Day. All right, my friends, I hope that you come back tomorrow. We'll see you then. Okay, goodbye, my friends. We'll see you tomorrow for Groundhog Day. Goodbye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.